everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host Jennifer. Welcome! <laughs> okay, so <sighs> I made my shawl. I talked about it in a previous video, but today we're here for a happy mail and I just have to wear this because it's so squishy and soft. And I think in this video you can see it a lot better because you're not across the table from me on the camera. So I wanted to do a quick little show it off again. <laughs> it's so pretty. I had a couple comments of people asking, or not asking, but saying, autumn colors, really? <laughs> Cinema Stitches, is there brown in that? Yes, there is. <laughs> I know. I know. It is so uncharacteristic of me to do autumn colors. But is this not beautiful? Is this not gorgeous? It's so pretty. I'm so proud of it. So if you want to see more of this shawl and if you haven't watched that video already, go ahead and check out that video. It's where we're talking about tea and makes and all the good stuff. <laughs> and yeah, I'm totally modeling for myself because I feel so pretty in this. I feel so pretty. And I haven't even weaved in any of the ends and I don't care. I haven't weaved in anything. Don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I feel pretty. And this is so soft and squishy. Okay, we're done talking about that. Yes, I'm recording this on the same day, so I'm still drinking my tea. A little update on the tea. The cinnamon stitches blend that I talked about, that I made myself, is delicious. I had a little bit of honey, a little bit of sugar. <laughs> I took it, I mixed, I mixed, where's the bags? If you watched that video, oh, everything's falling. I mixed, not that one. I mixed the custard apple with the spicy caramel apple. We're calling it the cinnamon stitches blend. These two together are delicious. With a little bit of wildflower honey. And I added a little bit of sugar too. Because I like my teas really sweet. <laughs> and it's so good. So I may just dump those two bags in together. Or just call it a day. <laughs> and yes, I'm calling it the Cinnamon Stitches Blend. Again, thank you Plum Deluxe for sending me tea. It made me happy. That's part of the Happy Mail, right? Because this came in the mail. I got tea from Plum Deluxe for free. They sent this to me and they wanted me to try it and show it to you guys. Plum Deluxe Tea, Custard Apple, this is delicious. I like the ingredients because the ingredients say all of this stuff and then it says love and gratitude. And it is absolutely delicious. It is loose leaf tea so you need a diffuser or reusable tea bags or something and all of them say love and gratitude. This one is my least favorite, the Decaf Black Comfort. It's very strong. If you like black tea, you're going to love that. It's very strong of uh, black tea and cinnamon, so it has a slight bitter. If you like bitter coffees and teas, you are going to love that. This one's my favorite. Spicy Caramel Apple Herbal Tea. And these are all decaf. They do have caffeinated teas, obviously, on the website. But yeah, so that's part of my Happy Meal because that came in my P.O. box. Also... Got a good amount of, I think there's one in the car. I think it's in the car. I got one yesterday from Wyoming. And I think it's, when I get postcards, I stick them in the dashboard. <laughs> and I'm fairly confident the Wyoming one is in the dashboard. Let me double check. Yeah. So, whoop. The Wyoming one, <laughs> it made me a little bit happy because Wyoming, Montana, Yellowstone, like, <laughs> I was like, that's perfect timing because I'm totally into the show Yellowstone right now. I also, Yellowstone is my favorite national park of all time. And, you know, to get a postcard from that region made me happy. And then this one is from Debbie. I am now an official honorary Cajun, and these postcards are all going in my postcard book that I received. 
and Scarlet is barking and acting a fool. But it says, as an honorary Cajun, you are entitled to hot sauce with every meal, which can I tell you I love hot sauce. I put it on everything. <laughs> I put it on everything. Um, and to celebrate for no reason. Cheers, mate. We're celebrating. <laughs> you are required to be able to peel crawfish. Love crawfish. You know how to peel it. And share joie de vie with everyone. Let's share our joie de vie. All right. This one is from Dawn. Dawn is also the one who sent me the Wyoming postcard because her last name is <laughs> Griswold. And she is also known as Griswold Vacation with Eddie. You guys will get the, uh, the reference to that. Also, she is yarn is a sport. And this one is from Nebraska. So, so she was in Nebraska and now she's in Wyoming. And then I got a card from Debbie again. Debbie sends me mail like every week postcards and she sent me a card. Um, God made rainbows to remind us that even the stormiest times can have bright endings. And then she was in the email. She's been also messaging me, keeping me updated because she, she messages me so often. She sends me mail so often. I feel a personal connection with Debbie and Debbie was hit by hurricane Ida. I, I think it was Ida and there was home damage and she has been misplaced since. And she's sending me a card, letting me know that I should have hope when really she's the one that needs to feel the love and the hope and the support. So Debbie, my prayers are still with you. You know this because I've told you this, but thank you for, for constantly thinking of me, even when things in your life are maybe not the easiest and you're still thinking of me and that means everything to me. So I just wanted to say that. <laughs> Um, I know that I have more mail somewhere. My room is an absolute disaster right now. There's just stuff everywhere. I've been cleaning this room once a week, like deep cleaning it, getting rid of all of the happy mail or packaging or whatever may come in the mail because I got a lot of packages, either stuff I'm ordering or stuff you guys are sending me and my room is a mess. I even still have my kettle. <laughs> In case I want some more tea is on my desk. There's there's a box down there for donate for yarn. There was a giveaway package down there. Like there's just stuff everywhere. There's two boxes full of berry yarn that need to be dyed. And it's gonna get worse in about five minutes because I'm gonna start photographing everything to put in the Etsy shop by the end of the week, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm starting to really, really realize that there are not enough hours in the day. Hey Oreo. To get oh that's Scarlet. And Oreo to get everything done that I want to accomplish. Hi girls. And I'm setting goals for myself, but at the same time, I just, I have to be easy with myself and not try to overdo everything. And also Mr. Cinnamon comes in here and he is, oh, you want to say hi? <laughs> the Scarlet, Oreo's the white one. Um, he comes in here for whatever reason and he is messy. He's messy. And I told him the other day, I said, you need to come clean your side of the desk off. Get down. You need to come clean your side of the desk off because like there was so much stuff piled on it. And I know that his work desk is exactly the same. He is a mess. He is a mess. And he's not artistic. So I don't understand that. Like usually it's the artistic people that are just got stuff everywhere. They cannot stand clutter in here. It drives me crazy. And I'm constantly cleaning up. Anyway, I also wanted to say thank you for these. These were sent to me and there was not a note inside. And I know she sent me an email, but I cannot find the email currently because I get so many of the emails. So thank you for sending me these. <laughs> you want to know why I need keychains? Okay. You want to know why I need keychains? Spinners. Now what I'm going to probably do is hook the hook thing and then hang it. And then this helps it because these are swivels. This will help it to spin a little better with like the 
the Halloween ones I made. So thank you for that. And it's funny because after these came in the mail, I was talking to Juju, pain in the neck daughter that she is. And she holds up a little bag. She's all, Mom, I have some of those. Why didn't you ask? I said, Juju, me and Daddy were going to the store to look for those and you were with us. She's all, I didn't know that's what you were talking about. <laughs> so thank you for this big giant. How many are in here? 25 are in here, but Juju also has like 12 of them. So if I decide to make more spinners or anything, actually these, these will also come in handy for lots of things, um, bigger charms and stuff for her to make keychains for her Etsy shop, possibly in the future, or like if I want to make a keychain or if I want to do, I mean, I can think of so many things to do with these, especially the keychain rings because little man loves having stuff attached to his backpack and I like making little amigurumi and so he has had an octopus on his backpack for two years now which didn't do no good last year because most of his schooling was done at home but he still had it on his backpack oh that's good and then this came to me from Dina at Dina's homespun fun now I mentioned this in a past video a long time ago. <laughs> I was making project bags that I'm not sure where they're at right now. But the reason I bought the fabric is because it was rainbow stripes. And I told you guys, Dina makes these project, these um, notions pouch, notion pouches. She makes these. She has several of these and she keeps them. And she will put one of these in each project bag. I have two. <laughs> I have two notions pouch. I keep a crochet one and I keep a knit one. And now I have a third and it has sewing notions in it. Or um, I think I also have one for my weaving. So when I do that specific project, I grab that specific notions pouch. And I put in here the needles that I'm using or the hook that I'm using or the, the thread that I'm using if it's sewing or whatever. Like the, the parts for that specific project. And I throw this in my project bag. Well, Dina made a video and she makes a bunch of these up. And she puts one in each project bag. Which is genius because I'm constantly losing my scissors. <laughs> constantly I literally have scissors in every room of the house because in case I lose them I have extras and I also have a utility knife with scissors in it in the car which is absolute garbage I need to buy Mr. Cinnamon was actually watching me use the utility knife to open packages in the car and he's all remind me next time I go to Harbor Freight or something to pick you up an actual good knife because I really like the utility knives with like the the Swiss Army style knives with all the stuff on it I, I have my mom's old knife because she always had one in her purse. Always. Hey! Hey! And it's really dull and really old. And I don't think she paid a lot of money for it. And so it doesn't work real well. And then I have another one. I have no idea where I got that one from. And it's the same stupid knife that just doesn't work. But anyway, <laughs> that's in the car. <laughs> anyway, Dina was showing these. She made a bunch of these in all different colors. And she was selling them on her Etsy I believe and I I really like this color because it matched my my project bags I was making on the time which was rainbow stripes and so she sent me a bunch <laughs> so she also sent me a thank you card she said thank you for all the support not necessary but you're welcome um, the purple set she said is for me be happy with a little Lama Stay notebook. Which I think the pages are really pretty in here. They have like the mandala print on it. And inside these kits, she keeps a little Tupperware container of stitch markers, a tape measure, which I'm always losing those too, a darning needle, little pair of scissors, an ink pen, and she usually keeps a notebook with it. I think this is genius because this is everything you should have in your to-go bag. All of this stuff is important to have for your projects. This doesn't quite fit in there, but I do have notebooks that will fit in here. Um, 
She said she saw the fabric that matches these bags and thought that I could use them to make project bags out of that fabric. She ran out of the Q pads matching, the Q pads and the matching darning needles, but she filled them with what she had. So these rainbow ones have the stitch marker, and there's quite a few in there. An ink pen. This one has a darning needle, tape measure, pair of scissors. And I don't know if these are all the same. She sent me four of the, oh, I found the Wyoming postcard. I put it in here. This one has a little notebook in it. So yeah, these are all a little bit different. Notebook, ink pen, tape measure, stitch markers, scissors. So because she sent me so many of these, and yes, I could put these with my my project bags. I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna do a giveaway and it's gonna be sponsored by Dina with all these really cool, we have four of these rainbow ones. I'm going to give away four. <laughs> We're gonna give away four. And one of them does not have a notebook in it. This one has a notebook in it and an ink pen. This one has a notebook. This one does not, but that's okay. And this one has a notebook. So there's gonna be four of them. One is missing the notebook, which is not a big deal. You guys can get your own pad of paper for very cheap. I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away all four of those. What I want you to do is ignore the dog. Can you please stop, Scarlet? Scarlet. Wait yeah, one second. Naughty, naughty dogs. What I want you to do is I am going to link a specific video below. It is going to be Dina's video. And she does not know that I'm doing this. And she didn't really give instructions what she wanted me to do with these. So we're going to do a giveaway sponsored by Dina. We're going to go to Dina's video. I'm going to pick the video. So only go to the video that I have linked in the description box. If you don't know how to get to the description box, there is an arrow on one of these sides. It's a little tiny black arrow. Push it and the description box will open up. That is where I keep all of the links and information at. Very easy to find. It's available on your phone and on your tablets and on your laptop or wherever you're watching it. You just can't get to the description box from a TV if you're watching on the TV and you pull up your phone, turn your phone so it's facing this way, not this way, so that you can see the comments and stuff and click the little black down arrow right there and it will give you the information. I will link the specific video that I want you to go link or click on and I want you to go give Dina a comment and um, I don't care what the comment is. I don't care. Any comment whatsoever. <laughs> Please be positive. You can thank her for the donations to the giveaway. You can um, put an inspiring quote if you wish. You can tell her how much you like her channel. Tell her she looks pretty today. Anything like that. Which, by the way, some days her hair is like so gorgeous. I just want to touch it. It's so fluffy and pretty. <laughs> anyway, so with that being said, we'll do the giveaway in here that I wasn't planning and Dina didn't ask me to do. And she just sent me those project bags. And I'm like, all right, well, let's give them away. Let's, let's share the love. So here, I found the Wyoming. <laughs> I found the Wyoming card. And again, this is from Dawn, AKA Yarn is a Sport, and also Griswold Vacation with Eddie. She said, this is for my collection and she's thinking of me. And this is Historic Cheyenne, Wyoming. Famous Cheyenne landmarks include Clockwise, Upper Left, the Tivoli Building, Wyoming State Capitol, and the Historic Governor's Mansion. You know, and I have been to a lot of states across the country. I have been to Wyoming I have been to Cajun country. <laughs> I have been to, I have been specifically to Lincoln, Nebraska and Omaha. Rode the Greyhound through there. <laughs> I have not visited here though. I never thought to collect postcards of all the places that I personally have been. 
but now maybe I need to, right? Although you guys are sending me postcards from all over, and I really appreciate that. So yeah, yeah, awesome. Don't forget, giveaway. Go to Dina's video that I'm going to link below. Um, I am going to, once again, link the tea company in case you're interested in Plum Deluxe. Plum Deluxe. <sighs> yeah, and if you get those two teas that I suggested, <laughs> you can make your own cinnamon stitches blend. And it is absolutely delicious with a little bit of honey and sugar in there. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you to anyone who sends me happy mail. Even a postcard makes me so happy. I love receiving these. I love filling out my postcard book. So if you're out and about at your local grocery store and you see a postcard rack and you think of me, I would love to get a postcard from wherever you are in this world. They don't cost a whole lot to send out. I mean, obviously the ones from overseas cost like a lot more to send out. Like it's like $2 for shipping. <laughs> Which I don't expect anybody to do that, but I do appreciate you guys thinking of me. I appreciate you guys buying me stuff on Amazon and sending it to my P.O. box of things that you think that I need or that I might want or could use. And I'm definitely going to use these for my spinners. And I'm so excited. I was also suggested, and I told Mr. Cinema, I was like, we might have to go to the fishing department. Because quite a few of you suggested the, the, the swivels from, and I know my dad used to have them. They're just little metal things that swivel. So that your bait will, can spin, not in your bait, your lures can spin, you know, little spinner things. You can totally buy those too, but these work. These totally work. So, thank you so much for these. I am definitely going to use those. Thank you, Dina, for sponsoring this giveaway that you didn't know you were sponsoring. And for thinking of me to send me those, which you did not have to do. By the way, Dina Shaw. <laughs> That is the Dina Shawl. We have a tutorial for that. And um, that is all for today. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching me open mail and show you weird random stuff. And thank you for sending me love. And thank you for commenting and all of the things that you guys do every day to make my day a little bit brighter. I really appreciate you being here day after day. And I really like spending this time with you. So thank you. Bye, guys.